Well, this one looks like it's doing pretty good. Looks like it's taking off. I just put this one in. <laughs> yeah, I just... I one got really coated. I don't know what happened to it. It just got really coated. Okay, here we go. It's gonna go up to... This will probably end up about 0.6. Two, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Just started. This is what I do. <laughs> I told you I don't have a life. I just watch this. And <laughs> it's kind of interesting because this isn't electricity, supposedly, that we're dealing with. So we're not quite sure what exactly they're doing. Well, at least, I mean, one thing good about my my lack of training, any educated training, is that I don't have to unlearn anything. I had a friend who wanted me to, oh, you need to get electronics degree, and you need to study up and all this uh, le electrical stuff. And, I mean, I, I agree that a certain, you know, basic education would be smart, but to take four years and get a degree... To understand what I'm doing, I don't think so. They don't teach this stuff, as I was told. Um, but anyway, thank you, Abby Joe, for for the shout out. That was that was nice of you. Anyway, um, we're all in this together, and I don't know. This could take a while for it to to settle on volts. It wants to, but. Sometimes I just go do my own thing, and next time I look at it, it's been sitting there doing that before the battery dies, or before it turns off automatically. And I'll be looking, and it'll be counting up on the volt setting. So, and this particular multimeter isn't like my old one. My old one, you could set it on 200 milliamps or 2,000 milliamps or whatever you could, you know. It was one of those. This one's just kind of you get what you get, and it. It does its own thing, so. Anyway. Alright, well, I won't bore you anymore with this. Uh, have a good one.